Developing resistance of microorganisms to antibiotics. So how can this substance help? Reworked in bandages known as Vitavalis, it can remove infections caused by harmful bacteria without requiring the prescription of antibiotic medication. Applied widely, this could help slow the trend of increased resistance to such drugs, as well as offering a solution for patients like this Tomsk man, whose condition would otherwise be very tough to treat. When he came in, we observed a fourth-degree burn of the occipital region at the base of the skull with a significant lesion. When we took cultures from the wound, we discovered an infection of purulent bacillus, one of the most virulent pathogens hardly susceptible to antibacterial treatment like antibiotics. Using this material, we saw that the wound cleared up rather quickly and that the cleaning period roughly coincided with the formation of new granular tissue. As a result, our patient, despite the serious lesions, instead of the usual 150 to 180 days of active treatment for something this serious, recovered in just 80 days. Like most modern bandaging, the new Vitavalis antiseptic dressing is composed of two sterile, non-abrasive fabric layers. The secret to their success, however, lies in the absorbent microfiber layer between. These microfibers are dotted with tiny crumpled balls, particles of an aluminum-based nanopowder dusted onto the layer. The key to the material's effectiveness is the positive charge these microscopic particles are packing. When applied to a potential source of infection or harmful bacteria, electrostatic forces attract negatively charged microbes to the absorbent layer of the dressing, locking them down and never letting go. There are currently no analogues in terms of functionality. As a rule, antiseptic materials toxic to the infection are placed on its surface. In our case, it simply extracts microorganisms viruses and bacteria from the infected areas, whether the wound is a cut or some sort of burn. And it does not matter whether the microorganisms are resistant to antibiotics or not. While the photos paint a vivid picture of the Vitavalis dressing in action, the actual lifting of the microbes is still easier seen in the Institute's laboratories. Here we witnessed a layer of the negatively charged bad guys lining a typical petri dish, a small disk of the material layered on top. When pulled away, the disk really does take off the microbes it contacts. The healing process here happens in an entirely new way. Deep wounds start being healed from the bottom up, thus eliminating the need for skin grafts, and no coarse granulation tissue is formed. The epithelium is restored almost completely. Pain is either considerably reduced or entirely eliminated. All this points to good prospects for this material and its usage for various purposes. This is what we are working on along with medical specialists. Studies are ongoing to find out exactly what Vitavalis does to extract infectious bacteria and why. Is the electrostatic activity responsible for the pain relief effect? Does the dressing serve similar purposes for both long-term and more urgent treatment? As with the concept for filtering water that came before it, this is a material whose properties were first theorized, increasingly tested, and released as products only in accordance with the stringent regulations that relate to health impacting arenas like water filtration and medical treatment. Having passed through this long road from principle to practice, the Vitavalis bandages are set for sale beyond Tomsk hospitals already this summer. In the meantime, Akvalid and the institute behind it are busy pushing the test of their own success story further to see what other exciting results might lie ahead. Across town, success stories are also coming from the...